Hi everyone, my name is Kinya Ota. Today I want to talk about this goldfish. This goldfish is Ranchu strain goldfish. Ranchu goldfish has a twin tail and no dorsal fin. According to the literature, goldfish varieties with this shape were produced in very short process of artificial selection. This kind of goldfish strain is produced through a process of selection by goldfish breeders. The breeders find individuals with a mutation and cross them to get the next generation. This process has to be repeated many times. So, if you were a goldfish breeder, what would you do if you want to produce this type of goldfish strain? Some of you probably think, okay, I can cross the twin tail goldfish and the goldfish without the dorsal fin. But at least to my knowledge, there is no single tail goldfish strain missing the dorsal fin. So, You'd have to keep a lot of twin tail goldfish and wait for the dorsal finless twin tail goldfish to be appear from them. This seems to take a lot of time, but the early time Chinese breeders were able to obtain this type of goldfish. How did early time breeders succeed in reproducing this shape of goldfish in a short time? I have thought about this question. My lab members performed the genetic analysis and the developmental experiment to give an answer to this question. And we found one thing. The genetic mutation of twin tail is also related to the dorsal finless mutation. A necessary condition for the twin tail is that the gene for the twin tail must be inherited from both the mother and the father. If the gene for the single tail is inherited from one of them, the goldfish will not show twin tail. And if the goldfish has a single tail gene, it will always show a normal dorsal fin. This is due to that the effect of the dorsal finless mutant gene is suppressed by the single tail gene. This helps us to answer our question, how did early breeders succeed in reproducing this shape of goldfish in a short time? Breeders cannot directly detect genetic mutations in goldfish. So, it is nothing strange that breeders maintain the goldfish with genetic mutations that potentially show phenotypic mutations in the dorsal fin. This means that several twin tail goldfish had dorsal finless genetic mutations, and it is also not surprising that the goldfish breeders found the twin tail goldfish with dorsal finless features. Once breeders found a goldfish with this shape, it would not have been difficult to maintain the dorsal finless twin tail goldfish, and it is easy to imagine that. Ranchu strain was produced in a relatively short period of time. Large-scale morphological change of animals in nature need a long time. But the drastic morphological changes were triggered by artificial selection from breeders and by the genetic and developmental characteristics of goldfish. And now these goldfish are here. This episode is based on our study published in 2022. If you want to know more about our lab, please subscribe to our channel. See you soon.